Well, uh, <clears throat> as, as always, uh, Truman, Truman tries to uh, steal the show. Here, here he is. <laughs> if he will say a word, he can have the show. <laughs> I've never heard Truman speak. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, now it's getting serious. All right, Truman, take a seat, take a seat. <laughs> Truman, I think you'll be pleased, um, even uh, not up here on the platform, because we're going to have some very, very good news this morning for tigers around the world and for tigers right here at good old Mizzou. This $2 million gift consists of a million dollars to the Mizzou Tigers for Tigers program that you're going to hear more about and a million dollars to intercollegiate athletics, and you'll hear more about that. So two wonderful programs here at the university, and Mr. Lohenberg, we're so grateful to you for the generosity that you have demonstrated. Probably what you have today to thank is not me, but probably my dad. <sighs> I may get a little choked up here. Uh, my dad went to Cornell, and he was an avid sports fan. Uh, and he was a career officer in the military and he was in the Air Force. And, but as soon as he came back from World War II, he began taking me to football games at Ithaca, football games at West Point. I remember seeing Doc Blanchard and, and Glenn Davis, Mr. Inside and Mr. Outside, probably the class football players of their times. I went to Ebbets Field and saw the Dodgers. I went to the Polo Grounds and saw the Giants. I went to Yankee Stadium to see the Yankees. I went to more track meets than the law allows. I went to polo matches. This man loved his sports. The two things that I want to give, the basketball scholarship for Mizzou. Uh, I was really surprised to hear when I was talking to uh, the folks at the Tiger Scholarship Fund that there were no endowed basketball scholarships. And it was just amazing. There's only 13 of them. And it's just amazing that we haven't been able to get all of those endowed. So I'm going to endow four of them, at least at the present level. Uh, maybe if the stock market's good and land prices keep going up, maybe we'll do more. But at least four. So I've had this love of tigers ever since I've been here. I was born in the year of the tiger. If you know the Chinese calendar, you know it's broken into 12 uh, different uh, symbols, and one of them being the tiger. And the tiger has kind of threaded its way through my life, and I, uh, I am very, very interested in, in, in seeing that the tiger survive. He served our mascot and served us well forever, and uh, it's our obligation now to make sure that he's here for in perpetuity so that we always have we always have those tigers so that he also understands the heart and the soul of a university of this great stature and that is our educational programs he's endowing something in tigers for tigers that not not only adds to that program that we have education of students but something that's very lasting and meaningful on an international scale at the greatest count today there might be 7300 tigers in the wild, worldwide, of the five subspecies that exist. The Amur tiger, the Siberian tiger, the Bengal tiger, which has the largest number, the uh, Indochina tiger, and the South China tiger, of which there are only 30 known living in the wild. There are 7,300 tigers, 730 tigers in reproductive captive programs around the world. Those are ballpark figures. This man wants to make a big difference because he has the spirit, he has the soul, and the heart for what really makes something great. So he's investing in something that has long-standing, long-life implications well beyond those of us here in this room today. We're going to do what we do best at MU. We're going to educate. And Bruce has already spoken to the power of that. Our plans are to use Mr. Lohenberg's gift to enhance the conservation capacity within those Tiger Range countries. We'll be working closely with the conservation infrastructure in those countries and with the international conservation groups to identify education 
and technical training needs for conservation professionals and paraprofessionals, those people who are on the front line in trying to protect tigers. Mr. Lowenberg, on behalf of the Mizzou Tigers for Tigers student chapter, we are very thankful for your gift. And as a token of our appreciation, uh, we have a gift here for you. It was signed by everybody who was at our meeting on Monday. And we got it framed. The Tiger Eyes is the logo that we use on, um, on all of our, our publication stuff. So thank you very much. can't get a gift without giving a gift. So I have a gift for you, Mark, and Tom. And um, it's down here. It's, uh, I travel to, wherever I go in the world, I look for tigers. And I found this one in Argentina, out of its range. <laughs> <laughs> it's a painting by a rather famous Argentinian artist who now paints in France. I bought it in June uh, and then found out that the Argentinian government wasn't going to let us have it or there was all kinds of problems getting it out because they considered it a work of art and it caused us somewhat of a problem. So if you would come forward. But those core values of which we all believe in are preached each and every day uh, by that program, by Mike Anderson, Bruce, and by his staff. And that is the academic integrity of what we do, the social responsibility of being good people, and then finally going out there and winning. And winning in the classroom, winning in the community, and then on that basketball court. And uh, today we had a, a small token of our appreciation for you. I know Mike was uh, going to go down there and grab that for you. But uh, prior to that game against the Razorbacks on, uh, on Thursday night, we want to make sure you had a new autographed basketball to be set to go. So if you'd stand up so we can make a presentation to you. Let me turn again to you, Bruce, and say how deeply grateful we are for your love of tigers and your love of Mizzou. Thank you for what you've done.